Hey, how are you doing? My name's Elton, and I'm going to show you how to set up Docker on your Mac. If you're just getting started with Docker, then this is for you, and we'll be done in five minutes. I'll walk through the installation, show you how to run some simple Docker containers, and then you're all set to experiment on your own, or go along to one of your local meetups, which you should definitely do. The Docker community is friendly and welcoming. Here we go. Docker on the Mac is a little bit different because Docker uses features of the Linux operating system, and although OS X is based on Unix, it doesn't support those features yet. So what we'll actually install is a virtual machine running Linux, and your Docker images will run on that VM, but you'll control them through the Mac. It may sound complex, but it isn't because the Docker guys have produced the Docker Toolbox, which takes care of all that for you. So here's my Mac machine. I'm running Yosemite, but Docker works on Mountain Lion upwards. I'll browse to docker.com slash toolbox and start the Mac download. The Get Started link has a whole bunch of useful information, including how to check that your machine can run Docker, but most modern Macs and MacBooks will be fine. OK, I've got the Toolbox installer, and I'm just going to run it. I'll take the defaults and run a full installation, which gives me Docker Compose and Kitematic, which are useful tools that you'll want to look into, but here I'm just going to cover the basics. The installation only takes a minute or so, and when it finishes I've got two shortcuts, and it's the Docker Quick Start Terminal that I'm going to use. This is the command line interface. The first time it runs, you'll see a lot of text about networks, IPs and certs, but if all goes well, then it shows you the Docker command line, with an ASCII art image of a whale, which is nice, and an IP address, which is important. Behind the scenes, Docker has started that Linux VM, and when you run Docker images, they'll be inside the VM. So to access them, you'll need that machine's IP address, which is what we see here. This is a private address in a virtual network on your Mac, so no one else can access your VM or your Docker containers. If I start an ordinary terminal session and ping that IP address, I'm getting a response, so my Mac is able to talk to the Linux VM. The Docker CLI uses Bash, so it's the same experience as the terminal in OS X. To test the installation is working correctly, we should run some containers, and I'll start with the classic Hello World. Docker run Hello World is your first step to becoming a master of containerization, and it's a simple command where Docker does a lot of work for you. Hello World is the name of an image on the public Docker Hub repository, and when you ask Docker to run it, it downloads the image locally, creates a container based off that image, and then starts it up. All the Hello World image does is output some text and then end, but you take the exact same approach for more complex containers, and there are thousands of images already on the Hub. Running a containerized web server will prove that our whole setup is working correctly. We can try this one, which runs a simple web server inside a Docker container. Docker run dash d dash uppercase p seek vents static site. That one will take a little longer to download, but when it's done, it will start a web server, which is listening for requests. The dash d flag tells Docker to run the container in the background, and dash p tells it to publish the network ports that the container exposes. We can run docker ps to see which containers are running in the background, and this tells us that port 80 inside the container is available as port 32769 outside the container. Now that's a random port and will probably be different on your machine. Remember our container is running inside a local VM on the Mac, which has the IP address 192.168.99.100, so I can browse to port 32769 on that IP address, and I see the page. Like it says, this is being hosted from the Nginx web server, running inside a Docker container on my Mac. Very simple, but very powerful. It just takes a few minutes to install Docker on OS X using the Docker toolbox. That creates a Linux VM, and the Docker Quick Start Terminal is how you work with Docker containers on the VM. When you've installed Docker, then run Hello World and started the static web server, you know that your machine is all set up correctly. 
Now, you can run any one of thousands of container images from the Docker Hub, including official images for popular software like MySQL, Nginx and Node, and of course, you can build your own images running your own software. That's it for this short tutorial. I hope you found it useful, and I hope you go on to have fun with Docker.